guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, senang banget hari ini kita kedatangan Master Sri Akarsana. We are in Dubai. Uh -huh. uh, dan hari ini aku akan bertanya uh, question and answer bersama Master Sri. Thank you so much for this amazing opportunities and my followers maybe want to ask you so many questions. Uh -huh. But before I ask you some question, uh, can you please uh, introduce yourself to my followers in Indonesia? Uh, namaste everybody. Um, so uh, my name is Sri Akashna and uh, I've been uh, for the past 12 years sharing uh, inspiration on the manifestation and law of attraction um, with people from all around the world. And uh, one day I actually was one of our subscribers that brought to my attention your channel and said that uh, I should take a look and I taken a look and I realized oh that's uh, very interesting because um, you've done an amazing job with sharing the message of law of attraction with the world and uh, now you're here in Dubai so yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing I'm so grateful to be here right now and uh, maybe the first question guys I'm gonna ask him is how to manifest soulmate mm, so many single people <laughs> at home watching this video please ask Master Sri how to manifest soulmate so first of all uh, what is what is referred to as soulmate is um, once upon a time in your past life mm -hmm. The, there was a relationship and uh, when you that's why sometimes when you meet some people in this lifetime you meet them for the first time and everything connects yeah, like yeah. instantly yeah. there takes no time to warm up and you feel that love you feel that connection you feel everything similarities yeah. it's because your energies have been together before but maybe in previous dimensions mm -hmm. and so if we are looking to manifest that actually it's very simple um, we don't really need to script what our soulmate should look like that's mm -hmm. different to manifesting a specific person mm -hmm. we don't need to script what they look like we don't need to script what their personality is mm -hmm. we don't need to script any of that all we actually need to do is to get ourselves into the vibrational frequency of the most love <laughs> the energy uh, we want to attract yeah, yeah yeah because yeah because we attract what we are not mm -hmm. what we want now the thing is what our idea is of love even if somebody can say they've never been in love before in this lifetime it doesn't mm -hmm. matter mm -hmm. because if i was to tell you to close your eyes and visualize if you were in love right now what mm -hmm. would it feel like just imagine it visualize it and allow yourself to amplify that love more and more and more and more until you feel it through every cell of your body this that tingly sensation the butterflies in the stomach you feel everything yeah. you know feel that joy feel that love because that love that you imagine or visualize or how you think it should be mm. is actually memory it's memory from past life and so when you get into the vibrational frequency, guess what happens? You start being at the frequency of your previous soulmate. Mm, makes sense. And so the moment you start doing that, you will start seeing that results will start happening and then you'll start meeting people who is like you've instantly connect with. Okay. And that's when you know you've connected. Interesting guys, so yeah that makes sense really makes sense okay thank you so much and the second question guys how to deal with people or followers or haters that saying law of attraction is bullshit uh -huh. you know I, it's happened with me all the time uh -huh. uh, some random people on the internet giving me some negative comment oh law of attraction is bullshit you know uh -huh. how to deal with that um, uh, well the reality is we don't need to deal with it because that's their belief that's their problem it doesn't matter because there are many people who believe in it mm -hmm. and it, the reality is for the people who say manifestation is not real mm -hmm. or law of attraction is not real it's true it's true for them because they don't believe it therefore they will never do it therefore they will never attract and manifest it but I always say to people who question law of attraction mm -hmm. and manifestation because what is law of attraction what is manifestation it's basically saying like 
attracts like. When you're positive, you attract more positive. When you're negative, you attract more negative. Mm -hmm. And if somebody says, I don't believe in that, well, very simple. You can split test over two days. Day one, you go out there, smile at everybody. Mm. And just start recording how many smiles and how much love and how much kindness you get back. The next day, you can frown and be angry and upset at everybody you see. Mm. And see how many people get angry and complain and shout back at you. Mm -hmm. What have you just demonstrated? If you are more positive, you attract more positive. If you are more negative, you attract more negative. Okay. It's that simple. Okay. Mm. So that's how you do it. Haters or people that think law of attraction is not real. You don't need to deal with them. Okay. Yeah. So if, if you really want to explain, that's how you would explain. But otherwise, some people believe, some people don't. If they don't, that's okay. They okay. will never manifest. That's okay. Ah. It's not. A, it's not your problem. You see. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So how about the people want to bring you down? Like, oh, Master Sri is bullshit. Master Sri is not, you know, like fake or whatever. It's happened with me too. So maybe I need advice yeah, from it, you. It's not just happened with you. You take any famous person in the world. Mm -hmm. There are many haters. There is not one celebrity you can choose which doesn't have haters. Mm -hmm. Even somebody like Gandhi has haters. Yeah. Even somebody like Mother Teresa, who is all about love and helping people, has haters. Okay. Right? So the, re the reality is like this. Because we live in a world of duality, the sh brighter your light becomes, mm -hmm. Right? The more high on the radar you become. So what the, does it attract? It attracts positivity. It also brings the attention to people who are negative. Mm. Because jealousy happens. Jealousy. A lot of these things happen. So you will always see... It's like, let's say, for example, um, a lot of the time, if you see... Let's give an example. A mm -hmm. rich person makes money, buys a Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, there will always be people who say, well done, congratulations. Okay. There will also be some people who say, what are you, a drug dealer? You know, <laughs> what do you do? How did you steal that? You steal that? Your, your dad bought you it? You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. there will always be people who say things like that. And the reason why they say it, if you really think about it, hurt people hurt people. They are hurting inside. Mm -hmm. They are putting their own jealousy, their own pain, their own suffering. They're putting it on you. Mm -hmm. Actually, our best way to respond to people like that is not to fight them. There's no fight. Mm -hmm. In fact, these people need more love. They need more healing. They need more compassion. Okay. So actually, whenever anybody says, this is fake, you're fake, this is what... I just say, namaste. I say, love and prize for you. Ah, you see? Interesting. It makes me, you know, warm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the next question is how to heal your body like disease or anxiety something like that mm. so um, our body has a natural healing blueprint how do we know that it's very simple if you cut your finger if you did nothing it will heal itself yeah so we know the body has natural healing blueprint but there is a difference between two people if two people can cut their finger mm -hmm. and they can wait one will heal faster than the other Mm -hmm. What determines the one who heals faster, what determines the one who heals slower, is when their energy body is activated or not as activated. Mm. So that's why I always encourage people to, um, for example, we practice yoga to get the body moving, to get the energies flowing, to get the blood circulation, then healing is better. You've got a healthier body, you see, mm -hmm. a stronger immune system. So when you move the energy around and know how to activate the energy from the core, mm -hmm. that will naturally move into the areas where it needs healing. Okay. So healing will happen there. There's two parts, this part and the mind. You got to believe it because mm -hmm. when you doubt it, it closes off the gates, the energy does not flow. When it opens, your mind opens, your energy flows. And so you've got to believe it when you believe it, and you channelize that energy, anything can be healed. That's amazing, guys. Okay, because some of my followers said, oh, if you have like depression, anxiety, or you know, like disease, you have to go to the professional and uh, take some like oh. de depression pills. And I'm, I'm like, oh. uh -huh. so, <laughs> so this is what common people do. 
I suffered from depression when I was 25, 26, so I understand. But I did not take any pills. Mm -hmm. You see, what I did back then is I changed my environment. I found myself a coach, found mm -hmm. myself a mentor, mm -hmm. and then uh, get some guidance, mm -hmm. get some advice from people who have been through the journey, you know? Okay, next question. Thank you so much. Um, how to manifest money mm, so many people <laughs> want to increase their salary or you know income mm. how the best way to manifest money yeah. actually there's so many ways when it comes to manifestation um i'll share just a few maybe i'll share three points something that uh, i've used in my journey that really helped mm -hmm. um, the first way is quite interesting one um, and it was a good friend of mine who shared this with me one time I had opened up my wallet and um, he seen, oh, you're not carrying any money. And I said, mm -hmm. no. He said, why are you not carrying money? Your wallet's empty all the time. I said, why should I carry money? Everyone use card today. Yeah. You see, it's safer. Yeah. And he said, yeah, but if you're carrying a wallet, every time you open it, he asked me a question. He said, how do you feel? When you open your wallet, how do you feel? Do you feel rich? I said, no. <laughs> and then yeah. he said, so you attract what you are. Mm. If you're not feeling rich, you won't attract rich, mm. right? And the very interesting thing was, this guy was somebody who didn't have that much money at that oh. time. But then what he did was he said he's recently gotten into manifestation and law of attraction. So this was many years ago. And what he did was he said, look, he opened up his wallet and it was full of cash. And I said, wow, you got a lot of money. He said, actually, this is all my money. He said, I cut, took it all out of the bank and I put it inside this wallet. And I said, why you do that? He said, every time I open up this wallet just to buy anything, go to the supermarket, whatever, every time I open it up, it's so full. It makes me feel rich. It makes me feel okay. full. Uh -huh. And actually, for some time, I didn't really believe it because I thought, this is crazy. You know, mm -hmm. what are you talking about? But I witnessed this guy become a millionaire. Mm -hmm. It was really, really fascinating. Like it, well, it was within a year, a year and a half, he started striking all these deals and he actually became wealthy from this belief. Mm -hmm. And that's what got me believing, mm -hmm. right? So I think that some things like that may, that make you feel rich will help. The second thing is actually whatever you uh, dream of having, let's say for example, if you want a Lamborghini mm -hmm. or you want a uh, mansion or whatever it is, right? take yourself there instead of just visualizing. Because when you're visualizing, sometimes if you've never been in one before, you've never sat in one, drove one, mm -hmm. whatever, you don't feel it. You don't really know what it feels like. Mm -hmm. So even if you go for a test drive, even if you go for a house viewing, when you go for a house viewing, sit on that sofa, mm -hmm. feel it. Yeah. When you go to a house viewing, lie down on that bed, look out at that beautiful view, feel it. Then you associate, your brain associates with the feeling. And so when it associates with the feeling, then now whenever you visualize, you know exactly what it feels like. Mm -hmm. And therefore you will attract exactly what you want. Okay. Yeah. And the uh, final thing I think for today would be to change your tribe. You gotta hang around with successful people. You gotta hang around with wealthy people. Mm -hmm. We always say your network is your net worth, mm -hmm. right? When you take your average salary, usually it's the average of the five people around you. Mm -hmm. We always say your tribe is your vibe. What does that mean? It means that sitting in the presence of people who are rich and wealthy, you feel their vibrations. Mm -hmm. When you feel the vibrations, you become the vibrations. Therefore, you attract the vibrations. So I think changing your network is very, very important. That's amazing. Yeah, I think that's important because some people, they still stuck at their nine to six job with toxic people and don't know how to do, you know. And uh, what else, guys? The sec uh, sorry, the last questions maybe. Um, how to move from our conscious 3D to 4D or 5D. Maybe you have like simple advice if people want to change their life. Uh -huh. So the, yeah, if you, the, I mean, talking from 3D to go 4D and different dimensions that are beyond human uh, physicality is, is not so much about I think it's more spiritual awakening. It's more mm -hmm. understanding of existence. You will be able to connect with the divine, the universe, and therefore mm -hmm. manifest even more, become even more powerful manifester. I think it starts with surrendering thought and surrendering human emotional attachment. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the time, 
what is human thought? Human thought is limited. All the doubts, all the fears, all the questions, all the skepticism mm -hmm. is human thought. As long as we fear and doubt using that protective human mind, mm -hmm. we will always remain in this 3D space. So if we practice witnessing, no thinking, breath work, yeah. calm the mind, peace and quiet, and so we're not always skeptical, yeah. that will help. Then instead of thinking is to start moving into feeling, meaning don't think, feel. When we feel, we acknowledge, we start downloading, receiving this intuition, mm. this pull, this yeah. universal pull. Mm -hmm. When we start feeling, we start connecting with the energy in motion as mm. an emotional pull. And so it's very important to not think, to feel. And when we feel, we are diving into the vibrational frequency of the universe with just this vibration, pure light, pure love, pure positivity, mm -hmm. and pure infinite intelligence. Mm -hmm. So when we start doing that, we allow ourselves to, in spirituality, we say surrender or mm -hmm. trust. We relaxed and whatever opportunities open for us, we recognize that the universe is us and the universe is always working with you. So we start taking steps forward. We take that leap of faith mm -hmm. with no doubt, with no fear. We trust that the universe has even bigger plans for us than we can even think about. And that is a good start to be able to enter into the 4D space and 5D mm, space. Makes sense. Mm, guys, so you know what to do. <laughs> Master, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, for this amazing advice. Um, guys, um, kayaknya sampai sini dulu yeah. perbincangan kita dengan Master Sri. Uh, jangan lupa nonton videoku di channel Master Sri Akarsana. Oke? Okay? See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.